Silence of the Lambs with Anthony Hopkins. If you don't know who that is, <sighs> you're really missing out, man. He is, he was astounding in that movie. So yeah, he's this, let's see, let me look at it. He's this British dude and yeah. Okay, so Silence of the Lambs is made in 1991. Of course, I'm going to first get into the credit or something because, you know, it's obviously not mine. I don't want to get sued. It's like, oh, I was just talking about like getting credit. So, you know, so I don't get my ass sued because I'm a broke college student. Uh, okay, so let me, hold on. I'll also give credit to that phone. Yeah. Give credit to that down below. Okay, so the director is Jonathan Dem. And then it says film series, Hamble Lecter. Screenplay, Ted Talley. That has actresses like Judy Jody Foster. You guys should know who Jody is. Anthony Hopkins, Televine. I could go on the list, just you know, look it up if you want more. And yeah, so look up on Wikipedia, stuff like that. And I'll just, you know, should I blow and give credit to the movie. So if any producers happen to see us, which I highly doubt, but if, please don't sue me. Okay, I'm giving credit to you down below. All right, let's get into this. So it is about this young FBI agent named Clarice. And Clarice, like, she's a new recruit. She's pretty young. Like, she's older than me. But, you know, maybe late 20s. Probably no fresh out of the academy. Um, yeah. Like, she's, I mean, she's still a student. But, I mean, she's working her way up. That's, yeah. And basically, there is a serial killer named... Buffalo Bill. And what he does is he basically like skins people and wears them. Like, I remember there's this one scene like where I think he was like putting on a face or something. And it was just they were really gross. And then yeah, like you know, show him with like I think like a mannequin or something like that. I remember just being really unsettled because she takes people's skins and wears them. He's like, fucking, the guy from Texas, she has a massacre, but he can actually talk and doesn't just run around slashing people. He can have some and then, yeah, he does that shit. And then, their iconic thing is like, put the lotion in the basket or something like that, where this girl's like in this pit or something and he has like this dog that keeps on barking at her. And yeah. I think he makes her put on lotion or something, you know, to soften the skin. And yeah. Anyway, so Clarice is assigned by her boss to, you know, talk to notorious serial killer, well, fictional, of course, named Campbell Lecter. And he, he is in solitary confinement because he like I said, he's a serial killer, but also he eats people. No joke, he fucking eats one of the security guards. And you can see like the flesh hang out from his mouth. And basically, she's like, well, her boss is like, okay, so to catch a serial killer, you've obviously got to talk to a serial killer. Because Hannibal, I'm pretty sure like he, he's not doing this shit for free. But he, for the story, like, you know, he helps her from his cell, of course. He doesn't, I think it's free in the end, but throughout most of the series, he's safely locked up. And he has, like, this interest in Clarice. Like, he's just fascinated by her. And in the other series, like, yeah. He never kills her or anything like that. I mean, he psychologically fucks her up. And apparently that's what he does people respect. Instead of eating them, he... Sick, twisted, 
ideal of like what's right with society and what's not right with it. So yeah, that's Mr. Lecter for you. And yeah, and they obviously catch him, but it takes a while to catch Buffalo Bill. And yeah. And I thought, I mean, it was, I was really terrified, of course. Like, it wasn't, why I like about this was, it's obviously, you know, like a thriller or something like that. I mean, it's not like, you know, maybe a horror movie in the sense where, like, you know, in a sense where it's like paranormal activity. But I had to mention it because it is so good. It will screw with your head. And, yeah, like, to me, or movie, if it, I prefer if it messes with you psychologically. Because, like, I mean, you can always, you know, get jump scares or a movie or something like that. And that's all fine or it scares you and have nightmares. But I believe that, like, when a movie, like, disturbs you and, like, a different st- sense and stuff, like, you know, like, physically grossing you out, just, like, messing with your brain. Because, you know... Like, if you know jump, you're like, oh, yeah, I just jumped at this thing. Well, not jumped at thing. You know what I mean? And basically, yeah, what this movie does is it shows, you know, obviously a dark side of humanity, especially slow killers. But just throughout it, it just the interaction between Clarice and Hannibal is just really fascinating. And if you're interested in, you know, like, criminal, like, criminal science or something like that, then you will be very, you'll be very into this movie. And it just, for all the thing, it's, it's hard to describe. It's just, like, cinematography is amazing. The characters are engaging in, like, Anthony Hopkins, especially Joey Foster. Like, they are very, they play their part so well. It makes you feel like you're right along beside, well, Mostly Clarice, because, like I said, Hamble is locked up for most of the movie. He just, you know, and there's still what she's going through. And, you know, just, it's like you're sitting right there next to her while she's interviewing Hamble Lecter. Like, the, like, the toughness of that chick is amazing. Because not that much people would, not that much fictional characters well, I mean, I guess not much, but, you know, not much people in real life would want to sit across from a killer who she knows has done heinous crimes and stuff like that. And he's very manipulative. He, he definitely messes with her. Like, you know, she's young and stuff like that. So maybe, like, she hasn't had much experience with so killers and stuff like that. So, like, you know, yeah. And it's just, yeah, you should check it out. It is so... So, I mean, I can't really cover the whole movie because it's so long. It's like two hours and 18 minutes. Not as long as Lord of the Rings, though. So, if you have watched that, then you can watch this no problem. And I really recommend it. It's so fucked up, and you guys would probably love it. All right, I'm going to go. Because, yeah, talked about a lot of it. Well, not a lot of it, but, you know, I kind of gave you a watered-down version and more detailed stuff. I mean, you just need to see a movie for yourself because it's so... Wow. I was impressed by this movie. I couldn't sleep for a week after watching it. I just, I legit... You know a movie is good when it disturbs you so much where you can't sleep without a freaking nightlight. I mean, I watched, this, I watched this a few years ago, so that's partly why I'm 20 now. Like, probably mentioned very earlier. But when I watched this, like, in high school or middle school. And it really creeped me the fuck out. So, yeah. Check it out and tell me what you think, you know. Maybe you can discuss it and tell me what you like or dislike about it. And, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. All right, I'm going to head out. I'll see you guys next Monday. All right. Peace out. Oh, yeah. Duh. Might as well get a proper ending, right? 
So please hit the like button or dislike button. That's gonna be my outro, by the way. Hit the like button or dislike. Wait, hit the like button or dislike button. There you go. That's my signature move, guys. Like button, dislike button. Just ooh, fist bump. <laughs> Feel free to give me any feedback whatsoever. Even if I if I make it big, I still want feedback because that is important. And I'll try not to get butt hurt. <laughs> and be a mature adult about if people don't like my content and say so. I will try to keep an open mind, you know. And yeah, feel free to comment negative or positive. All right, now I'll go.